Whoa, what are you talking about? You, mini man, taking on the jellies. Right. Commander Ali, fall in. There's in store for me. I will never forget these words. With great power comes great responsibility. This is Jake Walls for another YouTube video. If you like this kind of content, movie reviews, music reviews, and mo everything movies and music related, then this is your jam. Then click that subscribe button. Click the notification bell for future videos down below. And today I'm going to be reviewing Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. This, I was going to wait till tomorrow or the next day to review this so I can process this movie a little more. But I'm going to do it today because I'm so pumped to get this review out. Let's freaking go, y'all. And let me know what you think of this movie down below in the comment section. This is going to be a spoiler-free review. No spoilers or anything. Or anything like that. So I'm just going to talk about what I thought of the movie and some of the plot. Where Spider, where Miles Morales is actually going into the other Spider-Man realms, and they, they, and he thinks that and he wants to save everybody, including his dad, and then there's an altercation, and then he has to save everybody else, and then start to go back to to a new universe, which is crazy because I wasn't expecting that plot twist at all. It's a fantastic plot twist. I thought it's a really good movie. But you know what I'm talking about if you saw that plot twist and that new Spider-Man universe. I'm not going to spoil it or anything. But it's a really good scene. I thought it was epic. I thought this movie was pretty good. I just wasn't expecting it to, to, it to end the way it did. But it was a fantastic movie, I thought. It's a really entertaining movie from start to finish. And the animation, man. The animation is fantastic and through the roof. They had 1,000 animators work on this movie. And they had like basically seven different animated styles in this movie, which is fantastic. Now, now I have to sing the Spider-Man song. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever a Spider-Man can. Can he swing from a web? Yes, he can, because he's Spider-Man. Look out, here comes a Spider-Man. I don't know what that was, but anyway, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> nah, I'm playing, but anyway, this movie is a fantastic movie. I can't wait for Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse. It's a really entertaining movie from start to finish. Oh, man, uh, come on, bring me Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse right now. I want it now. But anyway, it's probably going to get delayed. It's supposed to come out in March 2024, but it's probably going to get delayed, which stinks because I wanted it out in March. So I don't have to wait too long for it. But it is what it is. I know they want to get the movie crew right and done. Right in the animation to look stellar. I get it. But I want it out now. Why did you have to end it this way? To, to be continued. That was bull crap. I thought. But it is what it is. This movie is entertaining. The music is okay. Not my kind of music. But it is what it is. And the music's pretty good, but it's not my kind of music because it has a lot of hip-hop in it and current music, and I'm an oldies but goodies kind of guy. I do listen to some new music, but not much. But I do like this music. It's okay, but it's not my kind of music. But the score, man, the score for this movie, Seth's Kiss. But anyway... The animation, I just love the animation for this movie. It's top notch. And the animation was gorgeous to look at. I was like in awe the entire of the um, two, and a, two and a half hour, one time, two hours and 16 minutes. So it's a really good movie. But the story could be a little better. There's The story is almost non-existent for me. But it does not take away how good this film is. I just love this film. I'll give Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse an A-. minus. And here's my final thoughts for this film. I really think it's a really stellar movie from start to finish. 
only have that one issue where it's where I only have these two issues where it's the ending and how it ended and then the story was a little bit non-existent for me. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Letterbox, and then I don't have Twitter anymore, so I don't. I got rid of that. Sorry for my Twitter followers. I had to get rid of it, but it is what it is. Check out my Nerdwriting videos website where I do stuff on there from time to time. And this is Jake Walls of Nerdwritism, so please stay nerdy. Peace.